What I have to show you here is a couple demonstrations that I do at the beginning of our study of ocean currents. Before my ninth graders here at Helena High School can understand ocean currents, I think they need to realize that salinity affects the density of water. To find out the amount of salt to use and to learn a fun way to present this to your students, I have provided a notes handout that you can access by selecting Show Support File on this web page when you are finished watching the video. In the second part of the demonstration, I add several drops of food coloring to the fresh water and then stir it up. And then what I do is I use a spoon to cushion the fresh water as I pour it into the beaker containing the very salty water. And as you might expect, since it is less dense, the fresh water floats on top of the salt water. The next thing I do is I ask my students to predict what will happen if I place a golf ball into the beaker containing the two layers, the layer of salty water on the bottom and the layer of fresh water on the top. And usually someone can predict that the, the ball will, will float in the middle. Since the ball is less dense than the salty water and more dense than the fresh water, it uh, finds a position right near the boundary of the two layers. I show my students this demonstration and then the following day I have them do a lab called Ocean Currents which is included in a lab kit that we purchase from Ward's Natural Science Establishment. The lab kit is called Exploring Convection and I would highly recommend it. Not only does the lab help students understand the salinity density relationship but, but also the relationship between the temperature of the water and, and the density.